Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit, but uh, we're out making a video uh, this weekend. Got a couple more videos we're working on. But one of the questions I get, uh, especially on riding videos, is what kind of toy hauler is that? What are you hauling those uh, four wheelers in? Um, so we're gonna kind of go over that today. So we're just gonna start off on the outside here. And when we get to our campsite, we'll go ahead and do uh, the inside and how it's all laid out. But uh, you guys won't have to go along for the drive because it's just gonna be like magic. It's gonna reappear when we're gonna be at the campsite. But I thought what I'd do is we'll go over uh, some of the details on the outside of the unit and uh, I'll go over some things and then uh, yeah, we'll jump on the inside. So what we're rolling guys is a Forest River Cherokee Wolfpack Platinum. This is the 23 pack 15. And what the 15 means is you get a whopping 15 foot garage. So what does that mean? That means you can get most of your four door side by sides in there. We'll talk a little bit about the garage uh, in a minute, but uh, you know, with it being a toy hauler, you know, that's the whole point. You wanna be able to haul your toy, still have a place to sleep, stay. But uh, anyways, so on the unit, you're gonna get on the outside a couple dog leashes there. Just some hookup points. If you got your furry friend with you, uh, this unit does have outdoor speakers, which I did have to replace the factory ones. Um, they didn't last a whole heck of a long time. We've had this unit about a year, but uh, you do have the pole mount here. You can bring your TV from the inside, put it on the outside. So you can kind of have this as a party space. And then up top we have a 15 foot awning. And what's also cool about having a toy hauler is it's got its own gas fill station. I believe this holds about 30 gallons of fuel, uh, gasoline only, so you can fill that up, fill up your toys. Don't have to keep making runs to gas stations and things like that. You're gonna get the nice uh, aluminum wheels. Uh, our unit come with the good Goodyear uh, endurance tires. So none of those China bombs on this unit. You do got on your outside there a cable port, if your campground does have cable access, and then also 120 volt outlet on the side there moving up front of the unit uh, on the front and rear we do have the automatic stabilizing jacks so these are just up and down real simple real quick to get set up kind of your standard i don't know if you'd call that basement storage but it doesn't go all the way through because there's a generator port on the other side we'll show you that here in a second but you can see and get plenty of storage in there <clears throat> On the front of the unit, you're gonna get your two 20 pound propane tanks, uh, the cover up front your battery. Uh, we're running a Blue Ox Way Pro hitch with this and I would recommend a weight distribution hitch uh, regardless of what truck you're running uh, just because this is a pretty big bumper pull camper and it, uh, it's pretty heavy. Got your power jack in the front. We'll move along here to the other side. And this is if you're running you can get an onboard generator. It's already pre-wired. All the controls are in the front bedroom. Uh, as you can see, it's a good spot to store Blackstone, uh, all of your jack pads and things like that. Here's the front. Here's the tag on the unit. So this, uh, this camper be easy to pull. Uh, we pulled it with a three quarter ton, no problem. Uh, we do have a bigger truck now. Uh, but uh, the three-quarter ton was no problem. I would not recommend a half ton. Uh, in here, you got your outdoor shower, black tank flush, your city water connection, or here's where you can fill your fresh water tanks. And I believe it's a 35 or 40 gallon uh, spray port here. There's a quick connect. So if you want to spray things off before you put it back in the camper, uh, you can do that there. There's your gray and black hookup. Again, on this side too, you got another cable satellite port, hot water heater, furnace. And then on this side, this is our slide. It's a really good slide. It's a kitchen slide. Really opens up the inside of the unit. Lots of floor space. Over here, we get our shore power. We're hooked up right now. Uh, it is a 30 amp shore power. Underneath, you can get a look at the stabilizing jacks again, your fuel tank, stinky slinky holder. 
on the back of the unit. Really nice ramp door. And that's pretty much it. It's been a great unit for us. Like I said, we've had it about a year. Uh, you got a couple things I forgot. Your blue awning lights that are on the arm. So what's nice about those is when you extend the awning, the lights are away from the camper. So it doesn't attract bugs towards the entry door. And then you got an outdoor light there, a little security light. But that's the outside of the unit. So when we get set up at the campsite, we're actually going to Southern Gap Adventure. Uh, we got a nice spot set up there. So once we get there, we'll get her set up and I'll show you the inside of the camper. Um, all right, guys, we got camp all set up. Let's get inside here and take a look at the 23 pack 15 wolf pack. All right, guys, we come in uh, right through the door. We're kind of going to look at this is your living area slash garage space. And with a travel trailer type toy hauler, you're not going to get that separate garage in this particular model, but it works uh, and it works well for us. So let's just take a look at the panel here. You're going to have your, this is your DC volts off your battery. Now this unit does have a solar panel, so it does kind of trickle charge your battery, but it's better if it's plugged in, but all your controls are here. Uh, your awning, your slide room, which is over there. Uh, your rear light on the back if you're loading at night. Uh, your front light, just kind of like a security light there on the front of the camper. Uh, your awning lights, mood lights on the inside, and I'll go ahead and flip that on so you guys can kind of see what's going on there. Just some backlight there. Uh, it does give quite a nice uh, ambience if you're camping and you don't want all the lights. Now this unit does not come with the garage dog, but you can bring your own garage dog. But uh, <laughs> here we go in the uh, living quarters here. And again, this is the garage and with the slide. Uh, coming in, you have 70 inches of width. Uh, basically from that wall to the end of the slide. So your 64 inch side by sides are going to fit no problem. And then basically from the counters all the way back here to the garage, you got just a fuzz under 15 foot. So that's gonna take all of your four door, most of your four door uh, or four passenger side by sides. So while we're back here at the back of the camper, uh, as you can see, we have the happy jack system in the back, which is pretty nice. Uh, these uh, lower units here, they will turn into either uh, dual couches. Uh, they're facing each other. There's also a table that comes with the camper. Um, so you can kind of, you know, it's good for like breakfast, things like that. And then also another bed that slides down from the top. Uh, so you can basically have uh, two beds here. I would say they're close to a queen size bed. So you can get, you know, four adults sleeping back here pretty comfortably. And then as we step in the back of the unit here, uh, you can see the more ride. Uh, this is your patio system here. The ramp door will fold down and there are some canvas uh, doors that'll cover the back of the unit uh, with some screens so you can have uh, kind of like a party deck out the back. And again, we talked about the light uh, on the back of the camper. So you can you know, have a pretty nice little setup out there if the weather's good. Um, where we're at right now, it's 90 degrees. Uh, so the AC is running. I turned it off to do this video so you know we can actually hear each other talk but uh you know speaking of ac units this one has a 15,000 btu uh ac unit and over on the wall here is your thermostat and it keeps the camper very comfortable you know when it's running it is a little noisy but you know i don't know of many uh, rvs that have you know quiet ac units but it does a pretty good job it keeps the camper at a, a livable temperature you know, right now is in the morning, we haven't had it on. And you can see it's 81 degrees in here, but it's not terrible. Uh, you put the AC unit on high, it does have auto settings and uh, you can just leave it run full time if you choose to. But uh, it'll crank her down to, you know, 65 degrees if you wanted to run it wide open. And it's very comfortable in here. So looking at the living area again. Uh, so here's some cabinet space. 
you got a pretty good size and please mind our mess we've got this thing packed up for the weekend but uh, plenty of storage space right there here is your driven media system and it does have uh, two speakers on the inside and we talked about the ones outside also has a subwoofer and you can see all of our puck lighting and then again with this puck lighting all you got to do is press in the center and you can turn those off to adjust the you know light however you like it does have the zebra shades on the big window here uh, this window also does have a screen and you can open that up but uh, plenty of storage space in here gotta have a fly swatter i don't care uh, i mean if you don't have kids but kids seem to let bugs in all the time but uh, anyways on the slide so it's kind of like a kitchen slide um you know i've you know this unit you're giving up a little bit of living space so you can have that big garage space uh without going to a fifth wheel but uh plenty of room in here uh you know four of us sleep in here uh camp in here and it doesn't feel too crowded you do have a 12 volt cannon fridge it's kind of a full size i would say apartment size fridge with a freezer um lots of space in there as you can see these are all the trail systems and stuff we've been at so far you do have a graystone oven with a three burner stove you have a contour uh, microwave and it works really well good setup your hood here does have a light and your fan kind of noisy but not too bad hey you're camping right uh, on this side you do have a slide window uh, with a you know kind of a standard uh, residential style shade um, nice touch here um, kind of covering everything up plenty of counter space this is what kind of uh, sold this particular unit uh, for my wife you have a big kind of farmhouse style sink uh, with a removable uh, cover that allows uh, even more counter space uh, you're not going to get you know these signs and stuff and the fan but uh, this is just kind of us living in it right now uh, corner cabinet pretty nice we typically keep our coffee pot in here some little cubbies here uh, around the entertainment center this is a 32 inch tv so that kind of gives you perspective you could probably go bigger but uh 32 inches plenty uh, in this unit for us over here you do have your tank heat so this is your belly heaters to kind of keep the uh you know water tanks from freezing and then you have just kind of a touch and go you know check your battery status Fresh water, which we don't have it full right now. Our blank tank is empty. So is our gray water. You have a 120 volt outlet. Then you have one here on the other side of the kitchen. And then again, you know, this is kind of how we have it set up. Uh, we put some carpet. Uh, I think this is a five by, or a six by eight or five by nine. I can't remember off the top of my head, but just kind of cover up some of the D-rings. You got plenty of D-rings uh, in here to tie up your side-by-side -side or four-wheelers typically we're hauling two four-wheelers and we're talking big four-wheelers uh, they they fit in here no problem and then we just kind of lounge out with some zero gravity chairs so you do have a 120 volt outlet right there you have another 120 volt outlet here by your happy jack controls you can hear the refrigerator running the zebra shade we really like uh, we would like to you know change that out on this side as well but we haven't got around to it and then on your door it does have a thin shade it's thin shade ready uh, we didn't buy the thin shade but we did buy an amazon equivalent and it fit in there no problem whatsoever and if you are hauling stuff with maybe a fuel leak whatever you've got a uh, vent here on the front of the camper on the passenger side and then also one way in the back corner there uh, so you can get some cross ventilation so that's kind of the main living area of the camper and a lot of stuff we've added uh, i mean we added this hook here for our keys and stuff like that you know some signs uh, the knife block there we put down with some alien tape and it's held up it's never moved uh, at all does come with a fire extinguisher we added some some kind of chair pads there so like when you're opening the bedroom door you're not banging up against the wall 
Uh, also have your carbon monoxide sensor down there. So now we'll kind of open up into the bathroom. Pretty good size bathroom. Uh, you do have a porcelain toilet here, which is nice. Full size shower and I'm 6'2 and I have plenty of headroom. You have two vanities. We've added some hooks and just some pads there to keep things from rubbing. But uh, your other medicine cabinet is right there. Very good size. A GFIC outlet there by the sink. That sign, do not poop on our camper. That's my wife. But uh, it doesn't come with that. But your full size shower. So you're going to open it up there. We also added these. Uh, up here is a kind of a skylight. Uh, we added some insulation up there to kind of keep some of the heat out, which is nice. Go ahead and shut this back up. And then here is your fan. And we also added some insulation here to kind of keep some of the heat out when we're not using it. And it works really well. You do have an AC duct in here. Also your puck lighting. Plenty of light in the bathroom. And then if we go into the bedroom, you're gonna have two windows in here. You're gonna have your AC vent. Uh, we got a hat rack and a coat rack with that we added in here. Oh, your light switch. Now the bed that comes with any camper, it sucks. So we actually upgraded our mattress at home and put a queen size mattress in place of the camper king unit and uh, much better, much better. But you can see you have an outlet over here with kind of like a nightstand, closet space, overhead storage. Now you also have some puck lights above the bed. Those are just push on and off. And we kind of, when we're traveling, we keep stuff on the bed, just keeps it from rolling around the camper but the same here on the other side plenty of overhead storage we also have a gfic uh, nightstand and then this uh, dock right here is if you want to purchase the forest river speaker system which is a bluetooth speaker i'd say uh save your money get you a nice jbl something like that um, also on this wall here you have a backer board in place if you want to mount a TV. Also have your hookups for your cable and electric. And then again, looking down the hallway into the back of the camper. So this is it. It's kind of like the uh, basics of a toy hauler, but uh, it has everything you need uh, to make a, a long week, a weekend, whatever. Again, you don't get a lazy camping dog. You'll have to bring your own. But there you have it, guys. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for checking out the video. This is the unit that we roll around in, that we haul our side-by-side -side in, our four-wheelers in. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for something with a 15-foot garage that'll haul most four-seater side-by-sides, as long as they're below 70 inches in width, this is a... This is the unit to look at. I mean, from the price point, you get a lot of value for your buck. Uh, it's not quite glamping, but it's pretty darn close. Um, you know, a lot of features for your dollar uh, in a unit like this. It is bumper pull. It's not a huge fifth wheel. Uh, it gets in most of your state parks. Uh, it's 32 feet in length. Uh, it'll pull with a three quarter ton pickup and uh, it suits our needs very well. If you guys like these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, give us a like, give us a share. It really helps the channel out. Also want to give a shout out to our sp channel sponsor, Open Road 4-Wheel Drive. Um, we didn't showcase any of their stuff in this video, but uh, want to give them a shout out because they've sent us some cool stuff, which we're going to feature on the next video, or maybe the next, next, next video. I'm not sure, but uh, thanks guys. I appreciate it so much, but until next time, we're going to get cooking, we're going to get camping, we're going to enjoy some family. But uh, until next time, God bless.